Hi, I'm Sean Patrick from Sean Sludge. Thank you for watching today, and thank you all three of you that watched yesterday and became my friend on Facebook. I really appreciate that, and I will begin stalking you today. And, well, I decided that if I do something funny, I don't have to come up with anything funny to say. So today, I've got a couple of my friends, and uh, we're going to go outside and do some science experiments. But for, before we go out and do any science experiments, I thought I'd share with you some of my favorite scientists of all time. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill. smartest guy to ever have his own TV show. When Bill Nye calculates the speed of light, he listens to make sure it's going the right speed. The Royal Throne, the Porcelain God, the Crapper, whatever you call him, we all use him. Even girls. It's often been claimed the word crap originated with this guy, a plumber named Thomas Crapper, the man who invented the ball cock. No joke, which helped pave the way for the flushing toilet as we know it. The dude even has a day named after him. January 27th, it's in a couple days, is Thomas Crapper Day, which commemorates the day he passed on to the big swirl whirling bowl in the sky. Dexter, I usually dread having to turn off the game to watch cartoons every night when my daughter begs. Unless Dexter's laboratory is on. Dexter once claimed he invented Charlie the Chupacabra to scare his sister, but it turned out wrong and now he chases goats. My kind of man. Finally, Hugh Hefner. I don't really know too many scientists, as you can see, but hey, he invented Playboy and he enjoys anatomy, which is a science subject, you know. Hi, I'm Danny Joe. Hi, I'm Brian Gary from K99 Radio. Bino from 99.9 The Point. And you all know me. I'm Sean. That's right. Sean, <laughs> the mad scientist. Things are about to get scientific. It's going to be I should remember revenge is a very, very bad thing sometimes. No, oh, I'm, I'm just part of this. <laughs> <laughs> what, we, today we have, uh, for our science experiment, we have some Mentos. We also have the fruit Mentos. We've got some styrofoam cups. Pop Rocks bubble gum. Baking soda. Vinegar. Smelling fresh this morning. Some soda and some regular Pop Rocks. All right, today for my science experiment, I've got Pop Rocks and I've got Sprite. We're gonna see what happens when we mix them in a cup. <laughs> it's making a lot of noise. It sounds like it might hurt the cup a little bit, but nothing major is happening in there other than the, the, the noise. It sounds like something you know, showing you what happens when you mix vinegar and baking soda. Whoa! <laughs> You've got Brian, who's going to show you what happens when you put a Mentos in a Diet Coke. We will drop two Mentos. Two Mentos. <laughs> Run! Okay, only one got in, but... <laughs> oh my! Alright, now since that was pretty boring overall, we've decided to uh, up, the, up the ante a little bit. and We're going to try all these experiments in our mouths. And so here I've already got three or four things of Pop Rocks. I'm going to put three more in there. I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to fit these in my mouth, but I'm surely going to try. And then I'm going to put some Sprite in there and tell you how bad it hurts. <laughs> not this way, please. Swallow some, and I feel it in my chest too. <laughs> All right, we All right, now as you can see, Bino just put some baking soda in his mouth, and he's about to put the vinegar and make a volcano out of his mouth. <laughs> I'm just getting at a better angle here. I'm going to put two Mentos in my mouth, put a cup in my mouth, and then they're going to pour a little bit of soda in my face. <laughs> yeah, oh, sure right. they are. All right, put them in. All right, one man, one cup. Oh, we have a funnel. <laughs> you might get back a little more if you can. That's why I'm saying sitting there. It's the Diet Coke bong. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've seen most of the things in life. I have no bucket list, so if I go, I go, you know? I've seen my grandson born, my children are grown. 
My dogs don't like me anyway. You have a burger named after you. I got a burger named after me, and now I'm going to see what happens when I throw like nine or ten Mentos in my mouth. Whoa. <laughs> Back away. Swallow! Swallow! <laughs> Alright, now we got Danny Joe. We're gonna have him lean black, back as, as flat as he can. We're putting coke in his mouth quickly, and now we're gonna drop some Mentos mm -hmm. onto the go. coke and try and get an effect of shooting up. Uh, it's bubbling a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Here's some Pop Rocks bubble gum. <laughs> All right, that didn't work, so now we're going to make a volcano. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, that's nasty. Oh, God. That's in my eyes. All right, so we're no Mythbusters. Actually, we're like a more of a hometown version of the Jackass guys. In our next episode, we're going to take off our shirts, get a baby alligator, and let it bite on our nipples for a while. Sounds like fun to me. And big kudos to Danny Joe who was out there with me and also Bino. They put vinegar and baking soda in their mouths. Now, I, I put some crazy things in my mouth in my day, but never vinegar and baking soda. Those guys are men of steel, if you know what I mean. Also, a big thank you to Brian Gary for hanging out today and for Jeff for operating the camera. Thank you as well for watching and look forward to seeing you tomorrow as well. Thanks.